Hi guys, it's Emmy from VA and I still can't wave. Damn it. Welcome back finally to another episode of Building with Emmy on Gold's Reach. Today, I know in the last episode I said I was going to do something with that space that's next to the blacksmith, but uh, today we've got something a little bit different in store. Basically, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to build uh, this wonderful thing that I'm currently standing on. Now, I... So I came up with this one, um, just sort of off the top of my head, and the, the aim for it was for it to be like a best functioning building for the least amount of space. Stage one, we will need oak wood, spruce wood planks, spruce door, one of these which is a small oak shutter. Now let's uh, get rid of them as we go. Uh, a window. Grass path. Uh, farmland. Had to put a water there so that it wouldn't eventually just disappear. And coarse dirt. Now, step one. Oh, actually, and, uh, and a uh, grass block. Step one. Get some oak wood. And let's... um. Begin the build. Uh, simply put the uh, build the outline of the frame, uh, the base, uh, the foundations of the build. Let me uh, go press my magic button. So that's what the base foundation is supposed to look like. Um, apart from that, that's not there. That's what the roof would look like. Uh, and carry this on on the other, the next five by five square. And then what we want to do is get the uh, spruce wood planks and remove the inner block from the inside. Oops, shit. Like so. And now that we've done that, uh, let's start building the actual frame. And uh, how we do this is we go from the bottom one, we'll go four up. And then three along, and then find the next the little up-facing log on the base. And carry out the procedure on the exact same uh, the exact same way on the opposite sides until we have um, completed the circuit. Like so, and once we've done that, don't forget to put the beam, the support beam in the middle. Actually, no, um, that was one of the design features that I changed. <laughs> Um, when I came to build the interior. Uh, next up, we're gonna fill in the walls with spruce wood planks. Don't forget to leave a space there for the door. For the, win for the rest of it, do it as if we were gonna have windows, because we will have windows uh, like this on all the other sides, just like shown in this small cutaway. Uh, and for this one, we're not gonna do the window one, we're going to do the door system again, and we'll find out why later. Next, uh, grab your door, and make it an inward facing door, so do that, and do the exact same thing, but have the door be outward facing on this side. Next, st um, next stage, we'll have the, uh, the windows, I put these the wrong way around in the the panel. Um, so 
um, just go around filling in the window positions, the window holes rather, and uh, once you've done that, grab the shutter and just place them over all the windows. Try and make them face the same direction um, if they're on the air. Uh, well, if it's a choice thing really. I kind of prefer to have them facing opposite ways because then it just kind of looks... I, I prefer that look. And then have them open so we can get some light into the house. Um, or close them if you want to have some privacy. You know, up to you. Um, and next up we're going to do the garden. And for this we remove the... And we can leave that one. Actually, yeah. Take this square of the 5x5 five five system. And fill it in with grass. And after we've filled in the grass, grab your grass path. And build a straight path to the door. There's my automatic system kicking in for whenever I forget to go and press the button myself. Um, and with that complete, time for the farmland. Whoopsie, that's not supposed to happen. To leave those two open because that's where we'll be putting the water. Um, oh bugger! This is the farmland's gonna go dry and we'll have to replace it, um, won't we? Yeah. This lone grass block here is where we're gonna put our coarse dirt. It may seem odd to just have a block of coarse dirt in the middle of uh, what will be the garden, but. Um, there is method to the madness. There is always, there is um, usually method to the madness. Right, and that is the first stage complete. Time to move on to stage two. For stage two, we will need a bucket of water, some seeds, a carrot, a patat, bone meal, spruce fence, wooden trapdoor, a button, and an orange tape block, or just some kind of block to use as a support beam. Um, stage one, quickly before all the farmland appears, fill in these gaps here with water. Next up, seeds. Plant some seeds. All the way over there, just, uh, I, I think just having the front two with seeds is alright. Uh, next, get, grab your carrots, put them there, and lastly, the patats. They can go all around here. And uh, get the bone meal, because we want to have them pre-grown. Gardening over, back to building. Grab your button. Alright. And use it on just the, the edges of the top block on each of the beams that divide the 5x5 five five squares. Leave this bit clean. And that bit. Then grab... Not the bone meal. Broken scroll wheel. Nightmare. And get the spruce... Um, the spruce fence. Can't see my shadow. <laughs> uh, and that acts as like a... a pillar so that will hold up the shelter because there's a small shelter at the top. Just put a trap door on the top there. And then with the orange wool, just make a diagonal pattern like that because they're going to interlock. And on place one of the trap doors on top of each of the block, the orange wool, and then between them, do one coming up the side, and then remove the support blocks. And there we have the shelter. That's all, that's all done. 
And now we are ready to move on to stage three. For stage three, we will need um, polished andesite, some cobblestones, stone brick stairs, stone brick regular, uh, spruce wood slab, oak fence, ladder, and a barrier. So first up, we'll grab the oh microphone. No, we don't grab the microphone. We grab the the polished andesite. And with this, we build. This is the tower. If you haven't already figured out, uh, we start working on the foundations. No. Where the hell did you come from? And the the tower actually takes up this purport this portion of the main building, so we can uh, replace the frame on this side and carry on making a frame out of the polished andesite. And now for some extra detailing, just um, go to the middle point of the, uh, <clears throat> the frame and add some, some more polished andesite blocks there, uh, and then also remove the middle one from the top there. Next up, grab your cobblestone and uh, fill in the bottom like so and what you want to do next is on the spaces where there isn't and a site in the main tower fill that in with cobblestone and that gives us our base uh, structure of the tower uh, the tower goes up three stories actually so just repeat this uh, going three stories up just like this. You can either build it uh, manually like I did or use world edit. Um, either way it gets the same result. And so once you've done that fill it in with, um, just start filling it in with cobblestone like the rest of the tower. I kind of changed my mind about how this looks so I'm gonna fill this in with cobblestone as well. And voila, here we have the, uh, well, the base of the tunnel, term, tower, it's just kind of a, a hollow tube at the moment. Um, and now we can grab our stone brick stairs and on the top line here, place them going upside down and just uh, do a rim around the top uh, here. Once that's done, go over the top of that, placing them the right way up. With that done, we can start work on the little decorational bits and on each of the cobblestone blocks at the top and in each of the corners, place some stone bricks or just any block, this is just for support. Um, and then double that up so that it gives a point where we can add some more upside down stairs. Go back to said upside down stairs. Um, and just place them going upside down on each of the support blocks that you are using. And then, oh, bugger. And then you can get, get rid of them once you don't need them anymore. And that is the tower's exterior complete. Uh, now we need to work on floors, so grab our uh, spruce wood slab. Uh, use slabs to make the second floor um, and the roof of the main building and then um, hollow out a space for a door here and do the exact same in the tower. Next grab our um, our oak fence and we can start work on some some staircase function. Um, <laughs> and just um, build them going up. The post needs to be three tall, one of slabs on top, and once we've reached this level, just fill out some kind of floor. Make sure we can still walk up and down the staircase. Um, and then from here, this is where the ladder's gonna be. So first step to that, get the stone bricks and fill in 
a room at the top. And then we want the ladder to go down here. And for this, we grab our barrier. Um, and build down to there. Because that's the lowest height we can go and still walk through. And then get the ladder and put the ladders on the barriers. And this makes it look like the ladders are... The ladder is just going down straight to the floor where we hitch a ride on the ladder and get up to the top of the tower. Right, stage three, four, lost count at this point. I think it's four. Yeah, there are seven stages, so this is stage four. Um, we will need to make sure that I'm in the right inventory slot. And then we'll, we'll need oak, we'll, we'll need, we will need oak wood, uh, white concrete, spruce wood slab, window, and the small shutters once again. Torch, shut up birds! And then our door once again. I need you to notice how bloody beautiful the sky looks. I'm not sure what mod that is, but I love it. Um, so, this is, as you've probably guessed with the types of blocks we've got here, this is us beginning the second floor. So, as we did with the first floor, four up, and just start begin, begin um, building five by five frames. Don't remove the the wall of the tower that's in the way it's a shared system and the tower gets the priority because that's the that's supposed to be what's holding the, the main structure of the build up uh, do build a beam, a beam here and just continue building the structure until we've finished the frame and then uh, on this top layer we're going to fill it in with white concrete rather than spruce wood planks and we're going to do this around the outside on all faces, like so. And then grab your window pane and put that in. And once you've done the window pane, uh, just place your shutters around the outside. Oh, whoops. Until you finish this. Quick note, do not make the rookie mistake of uh, making them misaligned with the uh, lower level. Always align the shutters in the same place that the, the ones on the level below were in originally, so that it doesn't look stupid. Then grab the spruce wood um, slabs and with them start making the roof. Once the roof is complete, we can go around the inside of the building and start placing torches. We're going to place one here and one here. And in here, we're going to place one above the doorway. That out of the way. Uh, let's head into the upstairs. Currently only accessible via the tower, but that is absolutely fine. Um, go down the ladder. Uh, don't forget to put torches in the tower. Once we're in here, place some torches in here as well. And then grab a door. And we're going to want it uh, facing inwards here. And that's going to be, this will be the second floor. Uh, but now, on to stage five. Stage five. Fairly quick stage, just um, just roof touch-ups. Um, so we'll need white concrete, uh, cobblestone stairs, brick stairs, brick slab, uh, support block, and some jungle leaves. Uh, first step, we're going to need the white concrete, and with this, just make like a, an upside-down T shape on the side there, and do the same on the other side. Uh, now grab cobblestone stairs and along the outside and then stick one out on the edge and on this little bit here do the exact same thing <laughs> and once we've done that we'll go to the front part here and do this sort of arching roof like this. And 
this little top bit here we put one set upside down one facing that way and then another one like that and just copy that on the other side don't forget the tower may be here sort of merging with this building but do do this all the way down don't just stop when the tower starts um continue until it would stop normally like it does on the um, opposite side and once we've done this uh grab our brick stairs and fill in these little bits here and then on the top uh all oh, this bit's a bit fiddly uh, there we go. Um, on the top of the white concrete, grab your brick slab. And then the support block. I'm using orange wool. Carry that along and use that to place down all of the slabs. And now we'll go back and remove the orange wool. Uh, what I like to do, this is optional, but what I like to do here, um, because this part of the build isn't accessible, um, but it's still large enough for mobs to spawn here, so, uh, what I like to do is put some torches in here just to make sure that nothing spawns. Uh, so what we'll do here is get the brick stairs again. Of course, I can't put them there because that's where the tower goes. And then make uh make them do like a an upside down one here and that will allow us to place um place them on the top of here and then we go back and remove those they aren't needed so actually i could have placed the torches there silly me once that has been complete, there's a little optional trick, um, which I'm going to do because I like the way this makes the build look, but every, just a, delete a couple of random stairs here and there. And then what we're going to do in these gaps is place the stair back in, but make it um, fold inwards like that, and that makes... Um, that makes it look like there's a little bit of a hole in the roof and that the, the building's quite old. Uh, which is, I, I did the same thing on the Fisher's Hut, um, which was something I, I didn't showcase. Um, uh, let me know actually in the comments if you want me to showcase the build of the Fisher's Hut. Um, I could try and build it again. And then this, this just creates the illusion that the roof's kind of falling apart. And lastly, uh, we want to grab our jungle leaves and build like a the vine that goes around here. Now this is a bit hit and miss. Um, there isn't a set pattern to do, so you just kind of um, place it in random spots and hope it hope it looks good as a vine, like a kind of something growing around it. Uh, mainly focus on placing it around the tower though, because that's good kind of where the vine is. It said vines. It's bloody ivy, not vines. <laughs> Ugh. If it was vines, I'd have used the bloody vines. That, uh, that looks like a bunch of ivy growing around the side of the, the tower. Um, and that is stage five complete. Now we can begin stage six. Uh, I should also note, uh, this is the exterior now fully complete. Uh, stages six and seven is building the interior. Um, interior part one, stage six, we will need the limestone fireplace from the uh, Dawn of Time Builders Edition mod. Uh, the spruce table low um, from the same mod. A cast iron teapot or a good egg to assist. Um, and a teacup, um, which is a a good egg, you know me. Um, uh, Ikanaba, Ikeb. Uh, Ikebana, I think. We've got a legless chair. They're all from the same mod, the Dawn of Time Builders Edition. It is an absolutely fantastic mod. Um, as all of this stuff. A uh, standard chest, uh, crafting table, and a furnace. Uh, now this is just going to be focusing on the downstairs of the house. Uh, so we go inside. 
and we grab our, our fireplace. And this is going to be done here. Cool thing about this is it, it conjoins there. And then grab the table. Now put it there, much nicer here. Um, and then we right click on this, and this is absolutely amazing. This allows you to place these with these three things, the teapot, the um, cup, and the lots of flowers onto the actual table itself, which is pretty cool. There we go, lovely. Then go for the chair. Place the chair, place the, the legless chairs down on each side there. And then simple little crafting table, furnace, and a chest. And in here we're going to have like a little storage room. So grab the chests again. Make a little storage room. And that is stage six um, complete. Oh, almost complete. We can go to tools, grab flint and steel, and light the fireplace. This does not burn wood, do not worry. Anyway, final stage. Interior stage two. Stage seven in total. Uh, we wanna grab some spruce stairs, bookshelf, uh, an armor stand, painting, white bed, oak, dark oak sapling, a flower pot, jukebox, and a chest. First off, we're going to make a staircase going up to the second floor. This is why we didn't put the beam here, because that would have made this look horrible. Just make a simple staircase. Taking stuff here. Don't put one there. Do it here instead. That looks a lot better. Don't forget, go back underneath and place those to make that look a lot better. Um, and then also you can grab a slab to block that off. And then put some stairs underneath there. And that just makes it look a whole lot better. Um, better, better, better. Um, grab your bookshelf. Just make a cute little bookshelf there. Armor stand. Painting, this is a nightmare. I hate this new feature that they added a while ago. Um, you can't, like, you have to put blocks down to get the painting you want. Uh, there's a couple of glitch paintings. I tried to add some custom paintings into the game, but it didn't work. You want this one. Pretty much every single room you've built in anything, this painting will go in it. It's the only, it's the most versatile painting in the entire game. Most of the others don't really match many different things. Uh, then put the bed down um, there or here. Yeah, here. Grab the um, what's that oak stairs involved? I think this should have been oak stairs involved as well, because um, the oak stairs would then form. This extra table, well, kind of bedside table looking thing. Uh, and then this is where we shove our flower pot with the oak, dark oak sapling. Uh, put a jukebox there and just a little chest here. And that is the build 100% complete. And it's time now to move this over into the town. Well, thank you for watching this Gold's Reach uh, build. Um, hope you enjoyed watching it. I certainly enjoyed making it. Uh, can't wait to come up with something brilliant for the next build in this, uh, this little town. And I will see you then. So once again, thanks for watching. And remember, consciousness is an illusion. It's warm time, baby.